Hello, uh, today I would like to talk about my collection related to Wano Country, One Piece because I have a question, do I have One Piece cards and yes I have it even though I'm not really into collecting specifically for One Piece Wano right now I have more collection from previous art than Wano but yes I have several of it and uh, in Japan if you stay or if you live here or if you visit Japan you can see that when uh, an arc in an anime or manga is ongoing then it means that you can easily find something related to it but before it begins usually there are a lot of promo promotion pro promotional things or campaign related to it and this is uh, several collection that I get when Wano Kuni began in I believe it's Natsu 2019 it's uh, summer 2019 so uh, before before Wano Kuni actually I interested in collecting this kind of one piece so when the character wearing traditional Japanese uh, was it like traditional attire costume outfit or yeah something like that's related with traditional japanese and this is this is a postcard set from if you see this is the tower where i live right now it's in in fukuoka but i don't have a lot of cards I, just one card left here uh brooks with the fukuoka tower and <laughs> the design itself it actually it's really good but you know like the postcard it just got right here i don't know they mess up i mean like just uh take the picture further up a little bit i think it's gonna be better but yeah bef before wano wano kuni begin i collecting this kind of thing so this one and i have this this is <laughs> i well sometimes it's not really ah uh, well to say valuable things because this is actually just a park ticket from one piece tokyo tower it's rest in peace right now there are no there is no uh, one piece tokyo tower because it's shut down it was shut down uh, last last year so this is from 2019 too you see here but not only japanese traditional uh, costume but like this one you see so this is before Wano. So I collecting this too. And in 2019, before Corona, uh, there was a jump, jump fair in, in Japan in the summer festival, some kind of manga festival. And I got these cards. Uh, Luffy, Sanji, and Soro, Soro Churu from Wano country. This is 2019. So this is my early collection this is a specific card in japan it's called uh, shikishi shikishi i don't know if i pronounce it right or not because i cannot speak japanese actually <laughs> even though i stay here around four years right now but sorry i cannot speak japanese so it's called shikishi usually it's it's slightly larger than this one ah, the common common shikishi size is this big so this one and this is mini shikishi so this is from ijiban kuchi the campaign for one piece movie another campaign so many campaigns so this is just a mini one and i collecting this i keep this and this one is not a card but it is called senja senja fuda so usually in the past people use seal of their name and put it on the on the temple but right now some temple forbid it this is a sticker from this is not for sale this is just a bonus from jump uh jump magazine but this is also one of and i put this in the side loader like this it's easy to find i think it's it's a nice collection and i also have this this is uh i don't know what's called in japan this is a lottery taka takayuki takayuki taka i forget the name <laughs> but this is the lottery so if you buy a lottery then you uh, will get the card 
you can you can scratch the ticket and get the money if you win probably like a one i think it's one million yen the grand prize for this but i didn't get the prize so <laughs> yeah i just this is the sticker so there's nothing in the back but the character is in the wano wano kuni costume too that's right and this is the the special because you can see the uh, hologram here it's a different this is the normal one and this is the special one okay collecting this one and this is more common for collecting because this is from uh wafer so it's a snack so you buy a card i i have i think i upload the video when i open this wafer this kind of wafer because some people just ask me what kind of food or snacks inside the the packaging and i just saw that this is the wafer this is the card and this is the the normal one only one star the i think i don't know what they call it. is it secret or rare they, they have one normal and then the rare two stars and then three stars and the best is four stars there are several series of this wafer right now and this and also this one some example this is also from from wafer cards you see in the package ah okay this is n so it means that it's a normal card not special not anything but i just like the character and this is a really good card but ah sadly right now they just made the card made from plastic like this one even though it's a thick thick cards but this is still made from paper not from the plastic in the past they made uh, cards from plastic and it's more durable but right now if you want to have a collection i think it's i don't know if it's better or not it's just a uh, personal preference but for example this one this is from stamp it i believe there are, there, there, there are some cards in one or two but I don't have it this is a little bit more expensive this only it costs I don't know, it's like 600 dollar uh, 600 dollar sorry 600 yen or around four three three dollars each and you can get this this is a, this is a better card because it's made from plastic but in the past even wafer cards or gummy cards it's made from plastic but right now it's from paper so that is one of the reasons why I collecting older card rather than the new one because the new card just made from paper and ah sorry I just like this one sometimes I just put it here and there and it's not so durable if it's made from plastic but yeah it's a it's a nice addition so yeah I'm still collecting some of this card especially the the ones like this like really Japanese unique unique Japanese card like this one i think i made another I, I will make another video about this this is called senja fuda it's, this is a japanese traditional card but with one piece character i will make another video of it so if you're collecting one piece or you want to know anything about collecting in japan probably i can help just shoot me a question and i will try to answer as good as i can oh this one i haven't talked about this one sorry okay i talk about the campaign this is from the lottery and this is from another snack but not this one from buffer this one from japanese snack called ocha ocha suki or uh, i don't know it's like uh just a food and then you pour water like a soup sorry food like a soup you you can mix it with rice or anything it is uh salty and this is the product called nagatami and this is the the I don't know, the icon of the product and usually they only give the cards with uh ukiyo e behind without one piece character and still right now they they still give a promotion with the traditional ukiyo e japanese painting from i don't know the the painter the okoe artist this is the behind and there's a campaign in here this is in 2020 so nami robin sorry i believe this is their name in japanese characters doro noa zoro not zoro juro they, they use doro noa zoro okay doro noa zoro okay this is furan ki 
looks they have two set but I don't know if it's complete or not it's pretty long time ago UV this is the the normal cast card if you want to make a guess this one is a special card with the hologram rainbow hologram I think the pack is still the same I think this is from the first series and this is from the second series that's really nice uh, campaign yeah if you want to collect the easiest thing to gather right now I think this one you can you can get this really cheap probably around I don't know one dollar you can get it depends if it's in the auction it's really cheap and the wafer card pretty much also available everywhere but if you want to find this or this probably you need to dig deeper a little bit this one is pretty easy too okay so let me know if you have any question or comments in the suggestion below just leave me comments okay thanks for watching bye bye